Another minor has come forward with screenshots of conversations between himself and YouTube star makeup guru James Charles, continuing allegations against Charles for grooming young boys. Hey, it's Andy. Let's get into this video about the essential, what you need to know about the situation. Now, just to give you some context, this is not the first time this issue has come up. As you know, James Charles was first accused by grooming by Tati Westbrook when she called him out in 2019 in her Bye Sister video. Oh my God, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again. You are using your fame, your power, your money to play with people's emotions. You're threatening to ruin them. You're threatening to embarrass them. For those who might not know the definition of grooming, it is befriending and establishing an emotional connection with the child, and sometimes the family to lower the child inhibitions with the objective of sexual abuse. Now, the former cover girl has had a lot of controversy follow him over the years, from tweeting about Ebola back in 2017 to his notorious feuds with YouTube talent Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. Back to the grooming though, essentially what happened here is in February, back of this year, this boy who was 16 claiming he was 17 said things did not get sexual, but essentially there was grooming involved. James Charles was allegedly flirting with him after he told him he was 17, not confirmed. But James said these allegations were completely false and the accuser told him he was 18. So last Wednesday on the 17th, uh, James Charles snapped me on Snapchat. He added me back because I had snapped him a while ago, just like a fan to influence your conversation. So he started making the conversation very sexual and it made me really uncomfortable. And I'll post some of the stuff that he sent me now. He proceeded to send me explicit pictures of his body. After the initial backlash, Charles continued to deny that he groomed minors to solicit nude photos to them. The proof kept coming forward though, as more screenshots were shared. Since then, the YouTuber has been fired from the YouTube Originals show Instant Influencer. And yet another set of screenshots have been leaked on TikTok showing Charles calling a 15 year old cutie and more. After the boys shared the screenshot in his story, James became angry apparently and accused the boy of deleting messages that claimed he lied about his age. He cursed out the boy and called him an idiot and then threatened him with a major problem apparently. And essentially a lot of these boys have lied about their age, which James has been sticking to for a lot of these situations. Some users saw a different pattern in the way Charles gets accused and immediately blames the accuser for age baiting. Quote, it's an increasingly worrisome use of his power dynamic. He shouldn't be privately messaging young fans at all. Others are hoping that legal action is taken against Charles in order to stop this from happening in the future. There are plenty of fans though that have the stars back. They claim that there is only evidence of Charles ending the conversation and that there are inconsistencies in the screenshots, making them wonder what actually happened. Question does stand though, if James continues to have these conversations and if he knowingly did know about their age in the first place or if they were indeed lies. Hello everyone, James Charles here, and today I'm gonna to be making a very important video about a very important topic. In the latest video called Holding Myself Accountable, uploaded on April 1st, Charles claims these boys were 18 when he first had conversations with them, but found out they were later on underage. Charles claims he did not do the research and see the ages on their social profiles, which a lot of people have commented saying that's how the conversation started in the first place on social media. I trusted the information that was given to me rather than the information I could have and should have gotten myself. In both of these situations, doing research into these people's public social media profiles would have revealed their true ages and therefore these conversations would have never happened in the first place, but I didn't do the research. And that is what is so embarrassing. Charles also says that it looks like he's looking for younger people to date, but that's also not the case. Charles also claims that he was desperate at times, almost talking to anyone, never listening to advice from friends, family, or others when it comes to dating, and that they essentially told him he could get hurt. I do understand that with these videos coming to light, it's really starting to, not even starting, it's really looking, period. Like I'm actively searching for younger people to be in a relationship with. And I just wanna say firsthand that that is absolutely not the case. My hope has always been to be in a relationship with somebody around my age or older, that I can relate to and that can make me laugh. And unfortunately, I've not been able to find that person yet, but the idea of actually being in a relationship became so important to me that I was willing to trust too quickly, miss out on red flags, and most importantly, not take the precautionary measures that really anybody, but especially somebody with a public platform should be taking before talking to anybody. And there's no excuse for that. Lastly, Charles touches on how a power imbalance and abusing his fame came up and how he still puts that down, but now has more of an understanding of what that looks like. He now understands the conversations that could come up 
when talking to a celebrity in the first place or how his social media authority could impact conversations he has with fans. Like they DM'd you first, they lied to you, they flirted first. Like you didn't use your fame, money and power to get anything. But I've now realized that that mentality is completely wrong because a power imbalance can happen even when it's not intentional. What I wasn't getting before is that the excitement that comes with talking to a celebrity is literally enough to make somebody do or say something that they normally wouldn't, even if that celebrity isn't intentionally weaponizing their fame, money, or power. And that's the concept that I just wasn't getting, but I now do. It seems that James is taking a big hit from these accusations online. Obviously, let us know what you think at What's Trending, but for more Social Media Daily, head to what's trend.com, follow me at Adelwani, and we'll see you soon.